clap. It's review time. Problem number six, logical statement problem. Let us read the problem. Transform this statement if x plus 5 equals 10, then x equals 5 into contrapositive statement. Before we're going to solve and analyze this problem, let's say we will remove the word if and the word then. Then we will have the original statements which are x plus 5 equals 10 and x equals 5. Then we're able to determine each terms on this part. When we say x plus 5 equals 10, this is what we call hypothesis, premises, or antecedent. And it is commonly denoted as letter P. While x equals 5 is what we call conclusion or consequent. And it is commonly denoted as the letter Q. So, these are the different terms that we need to consider in order to fully understand the problem as well as those options in this problem. Okay, so let us now determine each type, names, and symbol of each options. Let us have letter A. If x plus 5 equals 10, then x equals 5. Try to go back with this given problem. x plus 5 equals 10 is the original as well as x equals 5. If you put the word if and then to the original statements, then we call it as conditional statement. In symbol, we have P then Q. Since the x plus 5 is P, then x equals 5 is Q. In symbol, P arrow q or read as p then q option letter b x plus 5 equals 10 if and only if x equals 5 the word if and only if can be written as iff means if and only if in statement we call it as by conditional statement since the in symbol the arrow goes to the left as well as to the go as well as to the right which means x plus 5 equals 10 is equivalent to x equals 5. Or x equals 5 is equivalent to x plus 5 equals 10. That's it. Next, option letter C. If x plus 5 is not equal to 10, then x is not equal to 5. As you try to observe, in conditional statement, simply you just negate it. So therefore, we call it as an inverse statement so in symbol just negate p and just negate q we have now not p then not q that is now the third option fourth option is if x equals 5 then x plus 5 equals 10 if to try to look with a conditional statement the premises become the conclusion the conclusion becomes the premises in this statement Meaning to say, you change the order and the arrangement of the statement. So, we call it as the converse statement. Meaning to say, if you are going to rearrange the conditional statement as premises becomes the conclusion and the conclusion becomes the premises, we call it as converse statement. In short, this is P then Q. We have now Q then P. That's it. The last is... If x is not equal to 5, then x plus 5 is not equal to 10. If we're going to negate the converse, then we call it as contrapositive statement. So we're going to put the symbol not q, then not p in this case. So we have now the contrapositive symbol. Therefore, in this problem, the answer is letter E. I hope you learned something from this video. Good day and God bless everyone.